In 2011, Mulqueenie argued that if computing can be introduced as a part of the central curriculum in Year 5, by the time those kids are drawn up through the education system, you would find far less of a disparity between the sexes. Is having computing in the curriculum enough to address gender imbalance? Current statistics of women in STEM-based jobs demonstrate the level of gender disparity in the industry, with only 27% of employees in Britain's digital industries being women. 29% of female millennials do not think that computing is an important area for their futures, and one of the world's largest search engines, Google, only employs 30% female staff globally. With an ever-declining number of females joining the industry, we need to see where girls lose interest in the topic. First of all, we should look to the National Curriculum for guidance. The National Curriculum states that a high-quality computing education will equip children with the skills to understand and change the world, with an emphasis on enabling children to be active participants in the digital world. The ever-evolving world of technology that our pupils live in means that we need to commit to educating them on programmes of study that will benefit them in later life. However, the success of girls in this subject is still an issue and does not reflect the inclusive nature of the national curriculum, which should be suited to a wide range of young people. One of the main issues is the view of computing as masculine. This is off-putting for girls as they hold a preconceived notion that they will not succeed in the subject. Even with female teachers, the anxiety and attitudes that some practitioners hold will have a negative impact on the students that look to them for support. In order for girls to succeed in computing, they must be able to take ownership of their work and engage in exploratory work. A way of doing this would be to encourage the use of projects based on the children's own ideas to develop skills. To ensure teachers are well trained and well versed in terminology and computing skills will enable them to impart this knowledge on all pupils. If role models can be introduced to the pupils, especially female ones, a career in computing seems much more accessible. If children do not have appropriate role models, they will not have anyone to aspire to. Pupils will typically be introduced to male computer scientists as famous females in this field are forgotten about, including women such as Margaret Hamilton and Alida Lovelace. Another way of ensuring all pupils are motivated and engaged in learning is to include a best bug display, which features some programs on Scratch, Logo or Kodu that need to be debugged before they run effectively. These displays allow for failure to be seen as a stepping stone in programming and so do not result in the typical learned helplessness that affects girls when they feel that their intelligence is being tested. Programming is seen as an essential part of the national curriculum and it is frequently mentioned regardless of the fact that this programme of study is a fraction of the size of English, maths and science. This emphasises the point made by Mulqueenie that unless computing is made to be a centralised part of the curriculum, it will never hold the same level of importance as those subjects. Without the government and educators placed an emphasis on the value of such a subject, children will not echo this view. It is essential that these computational skills are developed early in life as they allow for interest to be enhanced and follow into higher education. This is why the argument of Year 8 being too late for the teaching of coding is even more important, as allowing pupils access to these skills at an earlier age will encourage them to become tinkerers, planners and inventors, and take ownership of the games and apps they can create and share with the wider community. A widely debated argument, spanning over 30 years, is that schools are not doing enough to ensure children are being presented with equal opportunities in computing. Incorporating coding into the centralised computing curriculum in Year 5 will give pupils adequate time to explore the topic and work on meaningful projects so they can make an informed decision on options for the future. Created using Powtoon.